And we're back, and again, that's what happens when you run this in the middle of running your business. Uh, you got to answer phone calls and stuff and all that jazz. So the good news is these guys are worth 35 XP apiece. They're a bitch to kill. Um, yeah. Uh, a couple of things you guys might be able to help us in the comments down below. It does say a hero starting their activation. An adjacent immediately takes a horror hit. That doesn't that doesn't proc per bonus. Like uh, the drifter's not gonna take one, two, three, four horror hits, is he? Because if he is, that sucks. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for uh, taking. Three. And and uh, as he's gonna take three, and I'm gonna take two, and you're lucky taking one in the back. That's how that goes. Yeah. Okay. That's what happens when you're slow. That's what happens when you're ambitious? You get punished for it. Well, that story. would be the end of the round. Let's start the new round with a hold back that darkness. There's a nine. We're good. And, uh, oh, a new fight has started. If anybody needs grit, you may gain grit, because I believe that's what your ability is. Grit, 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 grit. Each non-grit hero may one grit. So we're good there. I don't need to recover any grit, because it's time to go. Uh, initiative six is going to be you. Okay, so... Time to murder things. Yes, it is. Don't yes, it is. Yep, first things first. Well... Don't go first. Huh? The zombies don't go first on an ambush. No, they have an, they get plus two to their initiative. So they have initiative five. I believe they do go before us. She has initiative five. She has initiative six. Right. What's making it five? What does the an elite ability is giving The elite them? game initiative three. Gotcha. And ambush adds plus two. Okay, so three. So, I guess start your activation. The first thing you would do is you would roll your speed. So three. Yeah. Not that you're probably going to be moving. No. Because there's not. so many guys to be kicking. Uh, I guess right now we'll play this as horrible as possible. Take three horror hits. Uh, you respond with uh, saving one. Take two brain damage. Oh, I do regenerate my magic. Did you grit that? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Okay, you took I'll one take instead. One instead. I'm happy with taking one. Uh, I thought it was in that box. I need damage. Yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. One. Brain damage. I'm not sure how that got over there. Woohoo! Okay. Huh? I still have mine. I don't know how one got shuffled over there. Um, I do get that. I will spend one of my magic at the start of the round to uh, keep up my ancestral shield before these guys pound the living tar out of me. So, it's to you. What would you like to do? Um, well, I have... Uh, let's see. I do have my gun that I can, you know, shoot. It's what? It's what? With. Once per fight? Once per fight, yeah. Okay, use it now. Get uh, get it ready. Get rid of as many of these things as possible. I need the saloon thingy because the saloon thingy. The, yeah. The, 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 oh, first your abilities. Mm -hmm. What happens when you level up? No, no, not that. I need literally the saloon because the saloon oh, is the gun. Oh, that saloon. Is this gonna yep. room? I need the gun that's in there. A what? Is this a room? Yes. You should have had a grown dread, right? No. No, this is where it counts. That one, that one, oh, hits that, only that, that one doesn't mean anything when it hits anything. Yeah. All right, I will look up the saloon. Oh, you have a new gun? I've had a new gun for a while, but I can't remember at all. I don't re always remember what it does. Saloon. Thank you. All right. Which reminds me, I do need to look up <coughs> what I need as my ability. I thought the gun was in here. Apparently not. Don't you have it written down somewhere? Yeah, but it's like more than... It, it's like a half a page thing kind of thing. As far as... I, I guess I don't know where you got it from, so... I thought I got it from there. I guess not. Uh, here's all of that. No, I think it was one of those she bought Cheater it from the town. Just like I have uh, from the... Uh, uh, it's like I went and bought the from the Indian market, the I have the or from the tribal land, I bought the Indian bow and a couple of arrows from them. It's a free attack once per fight. 
So what's your what's your range? Your range is four. That looks yep. like a hit. Yep. Uh, you got to hit one of these three guys adjacent to you. I would suggest taking this guy first. Yeah, that's fine. Be well, because that way it does leave me something to play with. Yep. Not that I really want to play with any of these guys. Uh, this is going to be dice minus five. Oh. They have five armor. Oh. So zero damage. Well, that was a fucking waste and a half. So yeah, it I'm happens. glad that I used that. <laughs> Most of our attacks are going to be like that. Yep. Well, I'm going to shock a bit because, so, because yes. I, I don't know if tasers are going to work real well against these guys, but hey. Stunned is stunned is stunned. True. Stunned is stunned is stunned. So, and my combat is two. Okay. Um, that is so not, 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 mm -hmm. not going to happen. That is not any better. Nope. It's going to Actually, stunned is actually really good. I know. Any model with one or more stun markers on them is minus one defense. And then comes dice minus four. Alright, I'm done with these dice because they suck. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with them. Something's wrong with them. That's much better. Uh, the six is straight damage. Needs to be a three or better to kill it. That's that's dead. You gonna take this guy? Yeah. Sweet! We've got one to regen! What did you kill it with? For shock damage. Or shock stick. Looks like a boom stick. Uh, gain 35 XP. Oh, and I do need you to roll uh, you to roll a die, and I'll let you roll a die because the corpse piles do gain strength because we're here. So they have plus one defense. Go ahead and roll their punishment. I'll let you roll level three, lady. And five. So corpse piles <clears throat> now spawn a new new hero and a three plus instead of a four plus. So they are di defense of three now, and corpse piles will spawn on a three plus instead of a four plus. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, that is initiative six. Initiative five is next, which, as I've been so aptly corrected by our YouTube followers, that is the monsters. They're at five and a half. Pretty much. So, well, we'll just start here. This one, one die against uh, you, Melina. Uh, needs a four plus. That's a hit. So roll a defense. Yep. Take uh, three damage. <coughs> Do you, if you have armor, that work that that goes off there. Okay, then take three damage. No, I haven't had a turn to pop a cig. <laughs> right. Smoke a cigar. All right, this one, somebody roll a die against me. Need a four plus. Does not hit. This guy, um, I'll, I'll take the damage. Misses. Oh, it's fine, because there's all coming in to eat. So this one against Azzy. Misses. This one against the Drifter. That is a hit. Just one, just one. They have no uh, critical effect. That's a save. This one against you. That's also a hit. That's also that six for save. In, in, and in. So there you go. That is speed five. I believe you're also five, but penalized, <coughs> and you're five, correct? Then it's your next. First things first, roll initiative. You had a speed of six. Then roll one horror hit. Yeah. All right, now do something. Anything. Anything uh, else. What do you have to do to gain your sample? Is it just as soon as something's placed? Each time you encounter a different specific enemy type during the current adventure. Uh, they have two specific enemy types. Corpse pile and a hungry dead. So what does this do for you? Uh, once per adventure, remove all markers here and choose one of your hits to add plus one damage for each marker removed. Nice. And then it's useless for the rest of the And then the jar is broken. You have to get a new jar. In the head. All right. In the head. So what do you got for combat? Uh, 
Although your attacks are plus one damage against all enemy types you haven't ex encountered in the previous fight. Yes. Oh, that says a previous fight. So. I'm thinking that means this round you don't get it. Now, or this, this fight you won't get it, but if we survive to another room, you'll get the plus one. Because you're like, oh, I know how hungry dead work. I know how this stuff works. We're good. So, two dice then? Uh, what's your combat? Two. Combat is two, then it's two dice. The melee is a four plus. She doesn't have a gun. Nope. I, I, I have a light pistol, which is range six. But I do better with. But you have to shoot she, yeah. I do uh, better but with. But four it. does hit. And yeah. I can once per turn reroll one. Okay. Nope. Try rerolling. <laughs> you, you you may reroll that if you want with a grit. Yeah, yeah, you, you can die. Nom, nom, nope. nom, nope. You good? Yeah. All right, that four is going to be die minus uh, five. Not enough. Well, and then I'm going to use one of my fine cigars. Okay. She smokes a stogie to put up some armor for the turn. <laughs> so it goes till her next turn. Or I believe it's the entire because they already went. The zombies already went till the end of the turn. Right. So it's going to do no good if you use that. So I wouldn't use it this turn. Use it right. next turn right. because next turn they drop to initiative three. Oh, okay. Because you went they yeah. for you, so okay. use that works. Works. And that would make that would thematically make up that in that. Uh, 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 Ambush feel. You didn't have time to put up your magical sm smoke. Um, you're initiative four. I'm also initiative four. It's up to you. No, All right. First things first. I'm going to spend three magic after I roll my speed of six and then roll my two horror hits, needing three plus. Did you roll your speed? Yes. Yeah. I got a six. Um, I do take one point of horror damage. I'll take that. <laughs> yes, I will. He says. All right. Now I'm going to take three dice, looking to get a total of thirteen to call down the storm. It'd be cool if it were. I'm going to spend that to add. Which is on the dark stuff. Pretty much. Like That's what I needed. I can spot a 13. Yeah, that's why I had to do it. Because it was like, I rolled a 12. I'm like, you <laughs> son of a beast. <clears throat> Alright, so it is getting dark and stormy in there. clouds come from <laughs> so every enemy with initiative less than the roll has their move speed unfortunately that's just going to affect the immobile guys this turn all right so uh on a five plus roll on a d6 on a five plus it is struck with lightning so no yes it takes d6 plus two that is five, doesn't go through armor. No. Yes. For seven damage, minus five is two. I need two wound markers. Yes, we are. That's the, that's what I'm hoping. Hoping to make this a little easier for you. <laughs> is it every enemy? Yes. At the start of each turn, roll a d8. Every enemy with initiative less than the roll is hat, and on a d6 roll of five is struck by lightning. I summoned a storm inside of the inside of the mines. So he's hit for eight. That's dead. So I'm gonna put him there as a reminder of my XP that I'm gaining. Her miss him hit for six. I need one. Miss. 
Can Miss. You, can you crit with this? Um, it doesn't say I can. It just says on a five plus it, it strikes. That's a hit for six. I need one here. On here. Miss. Start in the back. Corpse pile. Hit for uh, eight. Eight minus three is five. So he's got five on him. Six. <laughs> that plus one defense screwed me. Uh, the next corpse pile in. Hit. For six, so for three damage. Uh, the third corpse pile, miss. And the fourth corpse pile, miss. And then this will go off at the start of every round as long as I keep spending mana on it, which I totally will. Right. Um, I only killed one, but That's I do bad. gain 35 XP off of that. That's not too bad. Not here. I just use my pen. I forgot these guys aren't elite <laughs> style. We're like the, oh, but I do gain. Holy shit. Um, 10, 20, 20 for base, and then 5 for each wound on the corpse piles. Nope. 15 base because they're... 20 base because they're elite. What's another Because they're, they're double elite. So 20, 40. Uh, a total of 8 wounds. 8 wounds is another 40, so another 80 XP. So 160, 165. Not bad for one buff. And now I still get my turn. <laughs> nice. Do it. Uh, Darkstone Hatchet. Uh, that one misses, but this one hits. It's a critical. So this is die plus one, actually. <coughs> for damage, that's <coughs> six. That's you, you're dead. So that's another 35 XP for me. Oh, because it negates their Because it's went through their... They don't have uh, the the tough rule, so we're good. Um, that is me. I guess that's me. Yep. I guess that was... Uh, no, it doesn't pay for me to do it this turn. So first things first, roll your initiative. So you got speed of three if you end up needing to move. Second, roll three horror hits. You have three zombies around you. What's your sanity? Three oh. plus? Uh, yes. So right now you're failing two. If not, if you take if you take them, it's just straight two horror damage. Yeah, that's right. Looks like there is one. Space and then he's not directly next to one of us. True. If you want to, you could move. Into it makes it worse for you. I have to break away from him. Uh, yes, I believe he does. What's the escape is four plus. If I fail? Uh, yes. I don't know. We never escape. Nobody ever escapes. But they're going back down to initiative three, so even if we all stay where we are, I'll still be one point higher than them next turn. There's my file. When a hero is adjacent to an enemy and wants to move, must first roll an escape test. To make an escape test, roll a d6. If the result is equal to or higher than the enemy's escape, this test is passed and the hero may move for the rest of the turn, ignoring. Uh, if the hero be moves, be move. Uh, if the hero becomes adjacent to another enemy hit with a high, uh, with a higher escape value. They must stop moving and make a new escape test. Um, it doesn't say the penalty for failing. I guess you just don't break away. Right. So if uh, you want to move, that's you. Bad, but there's you're actually better off staying where I've got you some wounded monsters. Actually, I'm going to shoot at the corpse pile so they don't spawn more guys. Are you allowed to? Yes. That's one of my special abilities. Not restricted to targeting adjacent enemies for with ranged attack. Okay. It never ever comes up. And so you got one, use one like two, here. three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five will get you to that one. Yeah. Uh, six, and I lost my gun. So. I got two shots. These are damage plus one. All right. With my executioner pistol. That's not bad. Sounds good. That's a critical and a uh, just a straight hit. Uh, so, I can put the crit over here. Okay. And the straight over here. Sure. I can't do less than one. We only have five left. This one's going to do a minute. Well, but that straight, the straight die roll, the five. Okay, okay. So, the four, that's four wounds, and that's enough to kill him. All right. So, that's 
20 and 3 wounds, so 35 for that. And then the straight die is going to be die minus 2. Because you said you're plus 1 damage. Right. So die minus 2. I think I can roll 2. So two, he's dead as well. Um, why don't you make an extra pile of markers? We need to make sure we have a total of 12 two. corpse pile piles. <laughs> nope. That is... Oh, it's on again. That, that's the pickaxe. Oh, okay. yep. gotcha. Um, and that monster is... 25 XP okay. for that. That's not bad. See, even though we have so much to fight, we're getting a lot of experience for killing them. Heck yeah. Depending on how well we do, we may actually have to make the gunslinger level with us. You never know. Um, I mean, he is level 3 already, so... And for me and Azzy to get to level 4, it's going to take us 2k. I'm at 200 I'm at 140. Yeah, so we're good, we're good there. Oh, end of the turn. I'm adjacent to you. Gain whatever your calming presence bonus is, and I'll get rid of my sanity. Do you have a point of damage? Yes. Sanity or health. Woohoo. I'm up to 160. My bad. I'm at 500. Uh, do you guys spawn stuff? Well, they still get to go. So, uh, there's nothing there. So at the end of each fight round, roll a d6 on a 3+. plus. There's a dude. There's a dude. Place two guys adjacent two piles. All right. Oh. It does say wounds. All right, I'm going to ask you guys on the internet, help me out. This spell right here, the Ancestral Shield, if you guys are familiar with it, the way it reads, uh, the hero has an Ancestral Shield that will absorb a total amount of wounds equal to 2 plus the caster's hero level. Now, are wounds both sanity and health, or are they just health? I think they're just health. Next so next let me know in the comments down below. Um... So I know whether or not I, uh, you know. To me, it would, it would be helpful. Right. Okay, so. so. How much does that block? Then you get minus, or, or if, we're, if we're playing that it's health, you're fine. If it's not health, then it needs to matter because I wouldn't have taken that sanity damage. It would have just propped one-fifth of my shield. So. It seems like the shield would prevent the physical. That's what I was thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but it is spiritual, so. Oh, I'm right. going to guess, actually, it does say these wounds are placed on the shield instead of the hero after defense slash armor, and that only takes the red wounds, not the blue wounds. So the blue yeah. wounds is willpower and spirit armor. Right. Yes. So I think I might have answered it myself, but please feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Correct us if need be. Say comments down below. I do. <laughs> because well, that is the end of today's episode. <laughs> If you've liked what you've seen, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, follow, all that wonderful stuff. Come back tomorrow and check out the massive hungry dead swarm as we stop them or if they eat our way eat our way through our bodies and... Eat their way out of this. Yeah, destroy all of the local frontier towns. That'll be tomorrow's episode or the next episode.